Hey everybody, Anne here, sitting in front of the chicken yards, having my coffee, enjoying this nice cool morning. The sun's coming in and out of the clouds, and I think it's going to rain at some point today, but I'm looking around at these baby chicks, and they're getting pretty big. Um, so I think I'm going to move some of the baby chicks into the barred rock pen, and um, well, just see how that goes. <laughs> Look at this beautiful guy. <laughs> Rocky Three, he's going to his new home. Okay, ladies, you better be nice. You hear me? I think I'm going to put him inside the coop first, just so he can remember. I don't know if he'll go up in here on his own the first night, but we shall see. Okay. I'm going to bring you one of your former flock mates, okay? I know, it's a little confusing. It'll be alright. You'll be fine. They're totally checking them out. They're like, I don't know. There's plenty of places to run and hide. They're about a little over eight weeks, almost nine weeks, I think. Yeah, I think they're big enough to not make it through the little holes, so... Yeah, I'll get some food. Maybe distract them a little bit. All right, let me go get. I'm gonna go get the leghorn and put the leghorn in here too. Yeah, it's okay. Hey, go on. Let them explore for a little bit. All righty. I may put one more in here. I'm, I'm not sure yet. You be nice. I haven't named these two hard rocks yet. Stop. This beautiful chicken here, I named her after my sister because she's so pretty and this is such a pretty chicken. So her name is Loretta, but uh, I'm going to call her BBL. And that's a secret. <laughs> the L is for Loretta. The BB, well, that's just between me and my sister. Look at how pretty this chicken is. Yep, going in this coop. So, a rooster, two hens in this run with the two barred rocks. Hopefully it'll go okay. I'm gonna get some food and put it back here too, as well as some water. But I figured, you know, there's three of them, they can chum around. Oh, I gotta get that blue thing out of there. They seem a little too curious about it. So all but one of the jars sealed that I did yesterday, that's okay. I don't know what happened with that one, if maybe I didn't get the lid on right, um, but it's in the refrigerator, well, in the ice chest, and um, I'll cook it up with something in the next couple of days. So yeah, I got quite a bit more stewed tomatoes, very happy about it. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna sit and watch these chickens here for a little bit, and then I gotta go split up some wood. Easter eggers are over here getting a little bit to drink, but I wanted you to see this. Uh, this is swelled with water again because of all the rain, but I don't know if you can see it, but there are little tiny frog eggs all over the surface of this little pond. Everywhere you look, there is a grouping of these. Those are little tiny frog eggs. Yes, some of them are sinking down. But uh, I have seen a few full-grown frogs, little tiny ones, but I have seen them jump out of this water. So we've got frogs of all different sizes in here, from the eggs to medium to, t well, tiny to medium to large to full-grown frogs. So this has been a really awesome thing for me to see this all happen and all of these eggs were laid after it rained or maybe even the night that it rained yeah there's gonna be a ton more tadpoles in here see all that well I'd like to get at least half of it done I tried to split uh, a little bit of it uh, I don't know a few days ago and it was just really hard to split I think it's still too green very fibrous so it's been sitting up here for a couple days. It's been humid, it's been rainy, but I've had it covered up with this tarp. So I'm gonna see how much of this I can get split up today with that. 
I'm having the same problem that I did the other day. This wood is not splitting up right. Um, it just gets all stringy and if you notice, it is oozing with moisture. So what I need to do with these logs is I think let them sit up for a little bit longer, have a little bit more of the moisture come out because they're just like spongy. Very hard, but still very, very wet. Well, it is starting to rain, so I've just been piddling around, doing a few things here and there. So the little cardboard hutch that I made for the rabbits in case they wanted to Put some babies in there. Didn't work. Yeah, they started chewing on it, jumping on it. It was all tore up. So, this is a chicken nesting box. None of the chickens have ever wanted to lay eggs in it. So, I just kind of put it upside down like that so that they can go back in there, put some bedding in there. I don't know. I do not know. But they sure had fun spreading that bedding all over the place. So, we'll see if this works. I know they've been mating. So, yeah, go check it out, Bunny. So I don't know. I, I don't know if it took or, or what. That's the male. That's one of the females. They eat so much food. But we'll see. And these babies are doing just fine. I've cut up some grass for them. And the other two chickens, the two barred rocks, are getting used to them. I don't know where the barred rock rooster is. But they seem to be calming down and kind of settling in. All right, y'all, I got sick of sitting around and doing nothing. I was getting a little bit tired, and then I just started thinking. I, I thought, you know what? I'm going to go do this. So I was really scared. I was super duper scared when I did it, and I was super, super careful. So let me show you what I did. See where I'm standing right now? Well, directly behind me, there used to be a big tree that went all the way up to the sky. But guess what? I laid it down exactly where I wanted it to go. Here's my notch. <laughs> Not perfect, no. I didn't have it. Actually, this tree was a little bit too big <laughs> for my chainsaw. Uh, let's see, I think it went this way. No, it went this way. Yeah, um, a little bit too big, but I just got it from this side, got it from that side, and then I did it in the back, and it was already kind of, I mean, it wasn't leaning. It was pretty upright, but it looked like it was trying to lean this way. So I put it down. Look at this. Look how big it is. Look how big it is. It goes all the way over there. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so much wood. Um, Is this red oak? It looks like oak. I mean, the leaves... I'm not sure what it is, but all I know, it's harder wood and uh, it's a tree that is alive, but it was starting to kind of lose its top. You can see some, I don't know if you can see down there, but it, it was losing the top limbs. So it didn't have very many leaves left on it, but it's a nice sized tree. And I got it down by myself. Yes, I did. Look how big it is. That's pretty, pretty big. And the good thing is, is it tapers. So some of this is going to have to be like cut up in not only quarters, but eighths. But once I get down to this area, um, I'll be able to, well, there's just so much wood. Oh my gosh, this is going to take forever. And the good thing is too, is it's on uneven ground. So I will be able to get in and cut this into more manageable pieces. And because I can get up, I can start from the top and then it'll start pinching. So I'll have to go up underneath um, and just cut some big sections. I think that I'm going to save this, cutting up of this, for tomorrow's video. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I can't believe it. I, I, I mean, I literally cannot believe that I got this tree down by myself safely. I got it to go into the direction that I wanted. I cut the notch exactly right. Notch, notch. And I wanted it to come this way and it came this way. As you can tell, I am super happy. I got my boy with me right here, giving me loves. Anyhow, I think that's it for today. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.